All right, bud. So we're going to go through those RPR drills first. Okay. It starts with good diaphragmatic breathing. So put your hand in from the bottom of your ribs to the top of your hip bone. You want to put it in that middle area right there. And what you're going to do is breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you're going to fill this area. Okay. Think about making your stomach expand, your sides go out and your back go this way. Okay. So a big deep breath in through your nose. Now through your mouth, your chest shouldn't raise at all when we do these exercises, okay? The air is going to go to your lungs automatically, but we want to do good diaphragmatic breathing, okay? So get about five to eight breaths really nice and deep into your stomach, and I'm going to take my fist, I'm put my thumb on top, I'm making that little foam roller. Now, I'm not gentle with how I'm going to do this. I'm not doing CPR on myself, but I am going to be a little aggressive. So find your sternum. And just like you had a zipper on it, like uh, on your warm up, you're gonna take that zipper up and down as fast as you can for about 20 seconds. Okay, it should burn a little bit, especially if you got some chest hair. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fingers and go right along the bottom of my ribs and really do the same thing. 20 seconds of just digging in as much as I can. It should all, if it, it should either tickle, should burn a little bit, but we're breaking up that fascia right along the bottom of your ribs to help reset your body so that the exercises can do the job they want. Now this is one we did while you were training. I take two fingers, I find my belly button, I go an inch out and an inch down. If you need help finding the muscle, when you lift your leg like this, okay, straight forward like a leg swing, okay, you are gonna feel that muscle squeeze like your bicep would. So once you find it, give it 20 seconds of work. Smash in there. If you feel like you have to pee, you're a little too low. Hey, but really dig in there, 20 hard seconds. That's all you have to do. Okay, last one of the zone one. I'm going to take my two fingers, put them on the back of my head. Excuse me, I haven't had a haircut in a while. Find the little nugget and go right along the back of your head. Really just creating a good massage. Should feel nice, not too bad. But then we get to the spot that's not going to feel too good. I take my ear right like where your earring would be. And you should feel your jaw right there too. And what I'm going to do is take two fingers and just push my jaw forward. Probably doesn't feel good, but do that twice for only, you only got to do it for three seconds. And then again, practice that breathing. Give me five more good breaths before we go into that zone two, okay? I'm gonna move that camera down here because you're gonna need to see my legs. All right, so zone two, we start with our quad, which is giving you the problems, okay? So I'm gonna find the top of that hip bone on this side, and I'm gonna go in a straight across pattern this way and do that same digging that you did before, but on both sides. Dig as hard as you can, right on the sides. Okay, we're gonna go to our hamstring, which is literally, you find your butt crack and just go right all across your hip bone right there. I'm gonna take my knuckles like this, and just dig straight along there. Okay, remember it's always 20 seconds. Okay, returning to your quad, I'm gonna go right around my knee. So I wanna go from the outside of my hip and then go around the bottom of my knee. So I'm literally making a U down and around right at the top of my knee. So again, push hard. Dig in a little bit, get around the top of that knee. And again, we only got to be here for 20 seconds. Okay, now you're ready to laugh at me because the ab one is silly, but it works. Okay, so we're going to get a good, nice little quarter squat. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to karate chop the inside of my leg and then rub as hard as I can. So it's We've been doing 20 seconds, so now it's 10 and 10. 10 seconds as hard as you can, and then 10 seconds of rubbing. Okay, I think I missed one. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so we're good. Those are all the ones you have to do. If Once you kind of figure out how to do this, you see the picture and you just get to it. Again, this shouldn't take more than two minutes. Hey, we want to do dynamic warm-up exercises in between, okay? So now I'm going to show those to you. 
in between each one or two movements, we're gonna do these exercises, okay? So we'll start with just good leg swings. So grab whatever in your house. My leg will swing back. When I swing back, I should feel a stretch right here and a squeeze in my glute and then swing forward. And it's not about how many you do, whether it's eight or 10 or 12, it's about you feeling loose. Okay, you getting loose. Again, other side, same thing. Get a couple more points in. So every one to two points, get some movement in. Okay, after that, we did these. Hands on your head. Big hip circles. Create a little balance, but try to stretch that groin out a little bit. Big hip circles. Again, these are in between one or two points that we just did, okay? After that, we're gonna go into the one that's probably not gonna feel too good for you but it's one we gotta do. Hey, it's called a couch stretch. Okay, so you could do this on your couch or anywhere, you know, you have something to hold your foot up. So I'm gonna use this chair right here that I have books on. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can do this so you can see me. You see the chair. Hey, right. so I'm gonna put here we go. My back foot on this. So let's pretend it's your couch. This is the couch cushion right where you would sit. And all I'm going to do is have a nice little hop out, almost like a lunge. But I'm going to go all the way down and let my knee touch the floor. Okay? And you should feel a big stretch right in the front of your leg. Okay? Now the second thing I want you to do is the leg that you have your knee on the floor, I want you to squeeze that butt cheek as hard as you can. Just squeeze. And when you squeeze, that thing should fire up, okay? If it hurts too much, relax, okay? Don't dig in too far, okay? But that should be a very big stretch, one that will probably help you the most, okay? And here's a second way to do it. So if that way is too painful, okay, if that's a problem, we're gonna do it on the ground. So the same kind of thing, okay? I'm in that same position. That leg was just way up here on the on the chair. I'm gonna take my back leg and I'm gonna turn it to the inside, okay? So, again, it just looks like a lunge right here and then all I'm doing is turning my foot and bringing it in a little bit, okay? Now the same thing, what I want you to do is this leg that's back here, I want you to squeeze that butt cheek as hard as you can and you should feel a big stretch in this leg, the one that you have your knee on the floor. This is a little less intense, okay? but again, tension is the way that you stretch things. So I should be squeezing this butt cheek, okay? and I forgot to say this one, I'm pushing my ankle into the floor. Okay? Push your ankle into the floor, squeeze your butt cheek as hard as you can. You don't have to hold it for more than 10 seconds, and then relax. Okay? Those should be good movements to help you. If you think of any more little warm-up exercises, it's perfectly fine. It's about getting you loose, but do all those points and make sure you do that hip flexor stretch as long as, as well as the leg swings. Good job, big man.